Hi folks, and welcome back to Understanding Business Strategy. In the last video, we have explored different reasons that gave birth to a new subfield in economics, I.O. Industrial Organization. Industrial organization economists try to explain what are the structural reasons on the why some industries are more profitable than others. Industrial organization economists face huge troubles in trying to find an acceptable answer to this question. Not because finding an answer was complicated or because the answer was hidden, but because of their framing of the problem. There were two main roadblocks in the way of industrial economy to define why an industry is more profitable than another. The first one is because industrial economists, or generally speaking economists, are much more interested in public policies rather than business policies. Well, what does this mean? This means that economists always try to find a way to minimize the excess of profit rather than embracing the point of view of private organization, companies, which is trying to maximize the return of profit. And the second problem is that Industrial economists try to define only few dimensions in order to explain industry profitability. It took the work of, at that time, PhD student at Harvard, who will become Professor Michael Porter, to reframe the perception of the problem. In his note on structural analysis of industry, Professor Porter explain that industrial economists are looking at the problem from the wrong side. They are looking at the problem from a public policy aspect, which is minimizing the extra profit in an industry. Michael Porter argues that actually we needed to look at the problem from the opposite perspective, which is the perspective of businesses. And obviously, their job of maximizing profit rather than profit minimization. In 1980, Professor Porter will publish Competitive Strategy, a groundbreaking book in which elaborated his note on structural analysis of industry, and in which introduces the concept of the five forces framework in order to understand industry profitability. But before letting you go, we need to answer a very important question. How come that was a PhD student and not an economist working in industrial organization to be able to reframe the question on industry attractiveness? And I suppose the, the answer is fascinating. The answer is that Michael Porter was working on his PhD on two different departments in Harvard. He was working in Harvard Business School, therefore was able to see the problem from the point of view of business, of profit maximization. But at the same time, he was in the economics department, which actually were framing the problem from the other side that is minimizing extra profit in an industry. And I think is this double understanding of the same problem that gave Michael Porter the right tools to unbundle industry attractiveness. Again, this is a classical example how many times innovation is about being able to see the same problem from different point of view. It's not that the answer is hidden, but actually is that the framing of the problem is wrong. And, and perhaps even more fascinating is how it's not that the answer is difficult to find. That is not the problem. The problem is the way that we perceive the problem itself. And it's our ability to look at the problem in different point of view, in different lights, in different perspective, that we actually will become able to find a different answer. Stay tuned.